guys, we did a couple of lessons on left hand uh, boogie wrist because remember that the left hand is where it's at, but also we can't obviously forget about the right hand. So camera person, come over here to the right hand. I want to show you a nice little kind of rock and roll boogie riff. Um, and I want you to see if you can do this. It's kind of a mixture between boogie and rock and roll. Remember, boogie and rock and roll are often a little bit at war with each other because they've got different feels. But sometimes kind of doing a little boogie rock thing it spices up your playing. Okay, so try this. That's all it is with that top note riff. And what you can do is you can vary the notes however you want. The, the trick is to get the basically... The basic the trick is to get that the blues kind of scale and vary the notes on it and you can put a straight rhythm in the left hand so it would sound like stop dancing camera person kind of boogie riff with a more straight left hand rhythm practice that as uh, you know it adds to your improvisational uh, uh, arsenal arsenal not the football team i think we camera person can you say something help me out of this 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 this, this arsenal is in your weaponry not your football yeah i know but but, but it, americans it, might not know who arsenal is yeah right? arsenal is, is, a, a, is, north a, london is a north football london football team, team but, but but also arsenal is what your weaponry what you've got okay so we of... had a little kind of slight communication uh, hitch yes. here but you've yes. helped me out of the quagmire that's all right that's no a good problem. word quagmire do you think we should do like a youtube uh, series on on vocabulary uh no no, okay. They might not be very interested, they might prefer boogie woogie. You reckon? Yeah. Okay. Well, practice that riff anyway, and uh, remember, a little bit of rock and roll brightens up your day. If we play too much boogie woogie and we never play blues, we never play rock and roll, we kind of get a little bit stale. So do a little bit of rock and roll now and again, it livens you up. Even if you're a boogie woogie player and you're allergic to rock and roll, which you shouldn't be, um, do a little bit of rock and roll now and again, it livens you up a bit and it challenging, challenges you to keep it fresh. And as always, give me your questions and comments. Uh, share this video on Google Plus, and I will talk to you soon.